for Monday, June 13th. So the first item is uh, general public input. If there is anyone here from the public who wishes to address the council on an issue that is not on tonight's agenda, now is your chance to please come forward. Uh, Terrence Edwards, uh, 172 Long Island, uh, Jerome. Thank you. Uh, I guess my concern is, is as I've uh, conveyed to Mr. Hall here in the past, with the refugee uh, situation we have in this community and uh, the Muslim impact, and I guess everybody's aware of what happened in Orlando and what's happened in San Bernardino and what's happened in parts other than here, small communities even. Uh, we've been made aware of a uh, situation, an alleged assault of a minor child and uh, we can't get any information on it. Apparently, it's been indicated that it was uh, the perpetrators were four Muslim youth that uh, conducted this, uh, I guess it was rape, and we've heard that it's consensual, but my concern is there's no such thing as consensual rape of a minor. You know, the police department, as I talked to Mr. Hall about it, that he he's adamant that everybody on the police department is, is good people and he's looked them in the eye and those folks are good people and they're peaceful and the Muslims are peaceful. That's what they said San Bernardino, that's what they've said in other places that we've seen this uh, carried out. And I know that you can't stop everybody and be concerned about it, but when there is a violation of somebody's rights and there's uh, uh, an attack on their personal being, we should be able to be made aware of that. And uh, I think that there's a, a uh, method of cover-up here in the community. I think it starts with the police department. I think that they are, have their mouth zipped closed. The media is not getting in on it. We hear get more information from <coughs> KMVT than we do from the community at large and the police department. So I'm just, I'm just alerting you to the facts that if you don't get your head wired to your Posterior, you folks are going to be with a mic in front of your face trying to answer questions about Islam, the Quran, the Hadith, the Sunnah, and you're going to act like a bunch of morons because you don't have a clue as what's going on in this community and other communities that are receiving refugees. ISIS is here. The Muslim Brotherhood is here. There's been violations already occurred by Muslims here. And it needs to be addressed, and if you don't address it, there's going to be heck to pay. And it's not by me, but it's by the community. The community is not going to sit around and wait for you guys to get your head and tail weather, wired together. So you need to be leaders, not followers, and not just go to the press and say, oh, we didn't know anything. Oh, we don't have a clue. <clears throat> and if you do have a clue, you, you ought to have an open house here and tell everybody about it because we're not getting that information. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your concerns, Mr. Edwards. Don Hall. Well, since I was listed uh, specifically, we did meet about a year and a half ago. We discussed the uh, refugee program, and you shared some information with me regarding Islam and the like. Um, uh, it's a mischaracterization to say that I just uh, cover my eyes up and, and look at people, and they're all great people. I know all people have challenges. I just wanted to make sure, and, and I have no idea what you're talking about uh, on a rape of a of a young lady by four other other folks. I, I I don't know what you're talking about there. I don't remember ever talking about that. If that's what you're bringing up. Idaho's First News has confirmed that a reported sexual assault around the Fawnbrook Apartments in Twin Falls is being investigated by the Twin Falls Police Department. The incident allegedly occurred on June 2nd. Twin Falls County Prosecutor Grant Lopes has confirmed the investigation but says there will be no charges filed in the case until the investigation is complete. Unconfirmed reports concerning the case are circulating on social media, but no one will comment officially on the case while it is still under investigation. Good evening. My name is Heather Stroop, 3161 East, 3200 North Twin Falls. And I own a small business here in Twin Falls, and um, I've also 
been a little shaken up by what's happened in Orlando, and um, mainly because I know what the um, Islamic influence that has been creeping into Twin Falls has also done. Um, I'm close friends with someone who was spit on in Winco by um, Islamic women and told that her God was nothing, that Allah was everything. And to me, that's a serious offense. Additionally, there have been hit runs that obviously we heard about in the news, um, also by Islamic people, and many other incidences from small to larger. I also have heard about a minor who was attacked in this community. <coughs> and I have young people of my own that I would like to keep safe college age daughter that I would like to keep safe and I don't feel like I can at this point I'd like to know if the city council knows where the youths were who perpetrated the crime that was in this community well it, again I'm not aware of a crime that has been reported and those wouldn't be reported to the city council as the a, city as council should know where the crime, me, if that, there's crimes in this community. Those wouldn't be reported to us as a matter of course. This is the first I've heard of this, with this being brought to our attention this evening. I'm, I'm happy to do some follow-up with our law enforcement office to find out if this has been indeed reported. But again, if it is speculation and hearsay throughout the community and there is no filing of a police report, how can there be police action if it's never been reported to them? So I can do the follow-up with that after this meeting. I'm happy to do so. I'm happy to get back with you about it. As a business owner, if, if, if I continue to see, when I came to Twin Falls, I thought it was a wonderful city, a safe city. And my business took off, in fact, like a racehorse. And I have actually been kind of reining it in because I've seen what's been going on in this city. If I do a little advertising, I know my business will grow to the point where I'm overwhelmed and I have to hire people because I know it's it's a, a prospering business. But I'm not going to do that if I feel like my family isn't safe here. I'll take my business and go somewhere else. That's all I have to say. Thank you for sharing your comments and concerns this evening. Julie Ruff, 2849 Rock Creek Road. It's a little disappointing to hear that you guys don't follow the news. Is that on purpose? <clears throat> because that's that's what I'm hearing. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going so on. So again, don't know what's I, going on. I have not heard a news report about it, allegations. Is that of typical? Ma'am? But it's, I just want to know if it's okay. typical, and then I'll move on. Is it typical? I mean, you know, if you're a lawyer or you're a judge, you don't want to kind of follow a case because you have to make a court decision. Is that the is that the rules for the council? So I am telling you, I am not aware of a news story about allegations of an assault against a minor in our community by Islamists. Okay. So I'm going to ask you all, because this is not a debate forum, I understand that. I, I totally get that. Mm -hmm. Where is the forum that we can have a very honest and open discussion? So if, if you feel you Not a private one, you and I. Okay, so open. may I answer your question, please? Yeah. Please do. If you all would like to request time on the agenda to have a discussion about specific factual items, I'm happy to schedule that. If you want to come to this meeting and talk about your beliefs about Islam and have it be a rehash of the conversation we had in here several months ago, I don't know that there's any productive part of that discussion. I don't know what conversation you're referring to. When, so when members of your uh, your various groups and, and people uh, with your positions on the refugees came to this meeting to to talk about anti-refugee okay. sentiments. My, my, my primary thing on this piece of paper is what forum can the community go to and say, hey, we have questions. It, Do we have something established already that I'm unaware of? whether it's by email or by some kind of website that I'm missing so that I can go and ask, okay, I'm hearing this. Do I 
write to the department heads or is there a monthly forum that I'm missing? Is there something that maybe we can set up to open up dialogue in the community? I would be more than happy to set up a meeting to discuss questions you may have if you're going to come with questions. So to be honest with you, I have yet to hear a question from any of you this evening. Okay, You've here's come my to question. Tell, excuse me, ma'am. You've come to tell us that, that we're not... I'm not telling you anything. I'm asking you a question. I'm actually asking a question. Okay. So, um, are you aware? Let's. Are you aware that there's a lot of pornography on foreigner web pages in Twin Falls? That's child pornography. I am not personally aware of that. But again, if there are specific allegations that you feel crimes are being committed, call the police. Okay. How about the death of the 17-year-old refugee boy who died suddenly? Do we know why he died? Was he sick? I'm concerned about him just as a person, and I don't know where to find that information, just to find out why did some 17-year-old boy suddenly die? Again, I'm not familiar with that okay. case. And the baby girl found in the diaper bag? Where, who do I go to to ask specifically more details about her? That was found out in the county? I would suggest that you contact the Twin Falls County Sheriff's Office or the prosecutor's okay. office. Do we know how many additional refugees Twin Falls has received beyond the abstracts 300? Uh, I do not believe we've received more than that, but I would recommend you contact the Refugee Center and speak to the director there. Okay. That's information that they share very freely. Do we know why the mosque received a permit in a day? I, I don't know what the time frame was of those building permit issues, but certainly contacting our building department I, and discussing that. I actually that. have, and I'm not getting anywhere and with they, that. That's fine the, here. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do I have on here? So, so Julie, here's what I would recommend. If you have written questions that you would like answers to, I'm happy to go follow up on those. I am not going to have those answers off the top of my head sitting here this evening. Shall I email you all my questions? That would be great, or you're great. welcome to just give me a written copy of them now if you already have them printed out. No, you won't be able to read my handwriting. Okay. If then I emailing to them to me would be fantastic. Perfect. And, and you and will reply, or I, you'll just I direct will, me to all the offices I need to talk to? I will certainly do my best to find the answers for you or direct you to those that can give you that information. Okay. And again, if you all would like to schedule some follow-up to have those mm -hmm. answers uh, discussed in a public forum, happy to get that on agenda in the in the coming months because you have to understand we, I guess we, we just figured we you'd don't, know. I mean honestly we, we just figured you'd know. This is a giant operation nope. of city government. We are yeah. not aware of every single bit of minutiae that occurs Can here. Can I encourage you though just as a citizen to possibly come up with something that's more of an open forum or maybe a public forum of some kind to just open dialogue up because we're not you might you might look at us and think that we're some kind of a coalition of weirdos and and actually, there's professionals, there's business owners, there's college graduates. We're not just a bunch of weird people. We're people that are living here in this community paying our taxes. We're nationals of somewhere in the United States or Idaho. And we have what we feel, anyway, are legitimate concerns. And people are coming saying, what's up with this, what's up with that? Who wants to go, well, I don't know. I mean, obviously, you guys know it's not comfortable when somebody's questioning you about something that's serious and you don't know. So we would like to be able to say, okay, Bob, here's the answer to this. Go here and find out the answer to this. So, so if you'll share your questions with me, I'm happy to do that. I would also say, so last fall, we actually had a very large community forum to discuss many of these issues. That wasn't CSI. so much an open discussion, and I actually talked to them in a private meeting before that. So An another question that I um, have is, I think,